there's actually been a tornado spotted. Okay, come on, we've gotta get shelter in the basement. Oh no! I think the power must have turned off. Oh my goodness! Get your favorite toy, Kate. Oh, hi, friends. Kate and I are so excited because today we're getting ready for our play date with Kate's new friend, Kova. Kova has a feeling too. Just like Kate. Oh, what's the matter, Kate? Don't be sad. She'll be here soon. Oh, how could I have forgotten? This is her favorite toy. And I think she wants to make sure that I don't forget to put it out. But I have all sorts of games and art supplies and sensory things out. But this is her favorite. She really likes the gears on this. See me, I'll turn. Hi, so what is it? Oh, that's a weather alert on the radio. A severe tornado watch has been issued for Babyville and surrounding oh. areas until 2 p.m. Residents are advised to be alert and seek oh, shelter if no. conditions worsen. I hope that won't affect our play date. I didn't even think to look at the weather today because it's sunny. But that's how it is in Oklahoma. You just never know what the weather will be like later in the day. But even though I'd hate to cancel this play date, I think I better check in with Kova's mom and just make sure she feels comfortable dropping her off in potential weather like a tornado. This is Renee, and I'm just calling to see if you're still okay with Kova coming over for a play date, even with, you know, the tornado watch that's going on. I know, it's so sunny right now. That's what I'm thinking, too. Sounds good. Bye. Yes, I'm so glad Kova's mom thought the same thing that I did, that it's sunny right now, and even if it's an abbreviated play date, they should still have fun. And seriously, tornado watches sometimes turn into tornadoes, but... Not always. Sometimes it's just it's just weather people wanting people to be careful. I appreciate that. So there may not even be a tornado today. But just in case, we'll make sure to keep our ears out for tornado sirens, won't we? If there's a tornado siren, that means seek shelter immediately. Tornadoes can be very serious and very bad. But hopefully there won't even be a tornado today. See how the little animals and bugs can crawl up the tree? Is that so fun, Kate? Is a monkey. Can you touch the monkey? Good job. I'm just trying to keep Kate entertained. I think she definitely knows Kova is coming. She's so excited. So I'm trying to keep her calm and entertained while we wait for her friend to come. Oh, that's the doorbell. Your friend is here. Let's go get the door. Let's go. I just hope this will be the best play date ever. Well, hi, Kova. Come on in. We're so glad you came. How are you? Good. Good. Well, let's shut this door and talk about what we want to do today. The first thing I'd love to do is hold Kate. Oh, of course you can, Kate. Then you can go see your friend. Oh, she's been waiting for you all day. Hi, Kate. Oh, she doesn't have any other friends with feeding tubes, so this is extra special. This is special for me, too. Hey, can we go outside and play since it's so pretty outside? And I hope we might get some rain later. Oh, of course we can. I did set out a really fun table of toys, but I agree. Let's go outside while it's still sunny. Oh, Kate. Mother, does he want to stay inside? Hmm, I don't know. That's kind of weird. What's the matter, Kate? Oh, I know what she wants. Look at this. I think she's wanting her toy. Yes, yeah, she just loves it. I don't usually like to take toys outside, but looks like that's what Kate wants to do. Don't you, Kate? This is a really neat toy. Here, I'll take your bounce account, Kate. One, two, three, nine. Oh, she just loves it. Okay, well, let's take it outside to play. This would be so much fun. It sure will. Let's go play at the park. It's such a beautiful day. Here it is. This is one of our favorite parks, Kova. Have you ever been here before? No, I haven't. I think you'll love it. It is so fun. I am so excited that look, it's actually sunny. I just can't believe that we are in a tornado watch right now. It's hard to imagine. Okay, I've got to find a good spot to put this. Oh, here's a good chair. 
I'm glad I found a safe spot for Kate's favorite toy. That's so sweet. Oh, Kate's loving that. What a brave girl. You know, Koba, she's actually usually afraid to do that. I think you're helping her be brave. I think there might be room in here for both the twins. There they go. Whee! Do you know how to pump, Koba? Good for you. Wow, you don't let your feeding tube hold you back, do you? Nope. I can just about do anything with a feeding tube. Wow, that can be a real inspiration to you, Kate. That's awesome. I love finding a great friend for my girls who's inspiring to them. Okay, I think the twins want to go do something else now. Oh, why are you fussing, Kate? I think they might want to play with a toy. so those aren't really colorful. It can help you learn to count, Kate. Do you want to go down the slide now? Oh, I think she does. It's starting to get dark. Oh, no. Wow, just like that, the cloud, the storm is just starting to roll in. Wow, it's starting to get windy even. Well, girls, why don't you go down the slide quickly? And we do have to be alert because there's a tornado watch. Whee! Whee! Wonder. It sure was. I think we better pick everything up, girls, and head on home. We don't want to get caught outside in a tornado. Wow, that storm is really starting to roll in. Oh, that's so loud. Do you think it was fun to had a tornado? I hope not. But the sky does look really ominous. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh. Oh, don't cry, babies. That was the biggest crash yet. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's Kate's too. I'll turn that off. So grateful for alarms. We almost forgot our feeding tube feeding and all the excitement of this play date and um, thunderstorm. Well, let's go get our feeding done. Well, I'm sure glad that our feeding tube machine can feed two babies at one time. Probably your mom didn't have to bring your feeding machine over. Yeah, it's nice to have friends that are like me. Well, we're sure grateful for you, Kova. Should I pour in all food? Please. That should be enough for both of us. That thunder is so loud. Oh, it's okay, Kate. Don't cry. I'm sure glad you're here, Kova, to hopefully we can calm her down. So she'll take this feeding tube feeding. We're gonna have to watch her closely so she doesn't rip out her tube. Okay, thanks, Kova, for putting hers in. And I'll put yours in for you. There we go. Oh, don't cry, Kate. Hmm, this isn't working real well. She seems to be really agitated. Maybe if I give her a new activity on her toy. I'm so glad Lobby Bert sent this to us. There's so many neat things that you can do with it. And Kate just loves it. Yes, you do. Oh, she's so excited. Oh, she loves all the colors. Okay, everyone's feeding tube is inserted and ready. Are we ready to turn it on? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is that? Oh my goodness, that is the tornado alarm. The alarm means that there's actually been a tornado spotted. We have got to get to the basement and get everyone situated. What shall we do? Kate and I need our feeding tube feeding too. I don't know, but we're gonna have to take all this to the basement so that we're safe. If the house falls away, we don't wanna be on the main floor. Okay, I've got, I got the twins. I got the feeding to the scene. And I can't forget Kate's favorite toy. Okay, come on, we've gotta get shelter in the basement and take the twins down and the toy. And I'll come back and get some more things in a minute. Ew, I don't like the basement. I don't either, but I'm so grateful for them in tornadoes. Third, the safe place to be. We need some polo! Here's some! Catch! Catch! <laughs> okay, so we've got pillows, we've got the babies, Kate's toy. What else do we need? What am I forgetting? We need chocolate and flashlights. Good idea. Okay, chocolate, flashlight, feeding machine, check. Ooh. Ooh, it's sounding intense out there. I gotta go run this downstairs. Are you okay, Mrs. Kelly? Yep, here I come with the chocolate flashlight and feeding machine. Oh, that thunder and lightning is getting so close. We've gotta get in shelter quick. Phew, we made it. Oh no, I forgot two things. What is it? I'll, I'll be right back. Hurry, Mrs. Kelly. I will. I 
can't forget the most important thing. We've got to protect our heads. I think that one should work for me. Hopefully this one work for Kova. And we've got two of these for Kate and Clara. I started to get woolly woolly. What is taking Mrs. Kelly so long? If the house gets blown away with the tornado, I don't want Mrs. Kelly to fly away. I got to go check on her. Make sure she's okay. Huh? What are you doing, Mrs. Kelly? Oh! But well, I'm just putting up pots and pants to protect everyone's head in case the house falls down. Are getting louder. We've got to get down. And there we go. And I can't forget the water. So I'm wanting to get our little safe spot nook situated. And already those sirens are going off. We have so many all around the neighborhoods. Okay, here are the pillows. That'll be nice to save my Kova, thank you for helping me with the babies. You get situated. I'll go bring the rest of the things to our little tornado shelter. We can't forget Kate's toy. There you go. It's okay, babies. Don't cry. Some pots and pans, chocolate, a flashlight. Feeding tube machine. We're gonna bunker down. I just stay safe from that storm. Everyone needs to put on a pan. Okay, Kova, here's your pan. Keep that on so it protects your head in case. In case anything falls down that's heavy. It acts kind of like a helmet. Oh, don't cry, girls. It's okay. Here's one for you, Kate. And one for Clara. We want your heads protected. Don't cry, though. It's okay. This is their first tornado. No wonder they're so scared. Well, we've got to think of something to do to make them happy. Oh, we can pull out Kate's favorite toy. Oh, that's a great idea. We just want to keep her happy. We don't want her to freak out. If something serious happens, we've got to be calm for the babies. Here you go, Kate. Don't cry. We can put the shapes in the little spots. There we go. And a triangle. Does that make you so happy? Here. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, that sounds so loud out there. Is the house gone? I don't know. Oh, it's just loud. Okay, we've got to think of something though. These babies are just sad. I'm so glad we have you here, Kova, and you're so brave. Oh, a feeding tube feeding. Oh, that's right. Let's get that set up. That'll be a good distraction for all of us. Okay, so we've got a little makeshift feeding station here. Okay, let's put the tubes in. Can you turn it on, Kova? Okay, is, it, is your feeding going well? Are you doing okay with your feeding, Kova? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, are you okay? I hope so. It's so still now. Oh, dear, Kate and Clara, don't cry. Oh, no, your feeding tube machine. I'm so sorry you didn't get your whole feeding. That must have been the tornado passing right over us. I'm kind of afraid to crawl out of our hiding spot, but I think it must be over now. It's so still. It feels so weird. Is the house still standing? I think the power must have turned off. Let's creep upstairs and see what's going on. Oh, it's always so scary coming up after a tornado. Is everything okay? Oh, it looks like the house is still standing. Yes, but let's look outside. Good idea, let's go. Let's go see what happened at the park. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. Oh, the tornado knocked over the slide and all the chairs and turtle and Bri ripped up bricks from the little path here. Oh my goodness, that was a strong tornado. It sure was. I'm so glad we were safe. And it doesn't look like anything really broke. Just a lot of things are knocked over. That was a strong one. I'm so sorry, Kova. This just has not been a fun play date. That's okay. I enjoy being around some of the other feelings you like me. Oh, no. And she just doesn't understand that when she pulls this out, it has to go back down. Oh, good morning, 
Kate and Claire, how are you girls today? We are at a hotel this weekend in Oklahoma City for a little family getaway vacation. Now, early this morning, Daddy C, Christy, Tori, and baby Emma all went to a really fun kids museum. But the twins and I stayed behind because we need to get little Kate's feeding tube feeding done. Come on, girls. We thought we'd do Kate's feeding tube feedings in the bathroom today. Although we're getting more and more used to doing feeding tube feedings, we sometimes have problems with that. I'm so glad we kept Clara behind because she's always gives us such good moral support. Huh, Clara? Here you go, Clara. The first thing we need to do is mix up Kate's high calorie formula. This is all a little different for me. I've never done a feeding tube feeding in a hotel before. But I'm sure we can make it work, Kate. Let's get started making the food. So the first thing we need to do is add the formula. Just one scoop today. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is add the water. Oh, how am I gonna do that? I think I usually use the cup from home. Let's see, they've gotta have a cup around here. So where would they keep a cup in the hotel room? Maybe I'll have to go down to the eating area. Oh, they sure do. This will be perfect to measure the water. Are you hungry, Kate? We're going to get to your food here in just a minute. Here's the water. We'll fill it up to about the eight ounce line. Perfect. Oh no, we've run into another issue. How am I going to stir this? We can't give Kate chunky formula through her feeding tube. Oh, it is very chunky. I hope they have a fork here too in the bedroom. Ah, they sure do. Perfect, we'll give this a little stir. And I think you're ready to start your feeding. Are you ready, Kate? I think she sure is. Okay, here goes. You know, even though we do this every day, I'm still just a little bit nervous about doing this in a new place. I hope Kate stays relaxed and doesn't pull it out. Are you ready, Kate? Let's do it. Look, I put a little book called First 100 Animals. understand that when she pulls this out it has to go back down well I guess there's just one thing to do we've got to put this tube back in okay so in which of these bags could the feeding tube reinsertion supplies be like the tape and the scissors and things like that not in here Ugh. not in here not even in here now I'm starting to wonder did I forget to bring the tools and supplies to put feeding tubes back in Kate? Ugh. Well, if they're not in those other bags, maybe we accidentally put them in our suitcase. I sure hope so. No? Oh no. I think we must have forgotten them at the house. So this is really surprising and I'm not sure how that happened. I mean, the feeding tube supplies are like the most important things we would need to pack. How could we have forgotten that? So the bottom line is I don't have those supplies. So do we need to drive hours back home to get the tape and things we need to put the tube back in? We would do anything for you, Kate. We have to make sure she gets the calories she needs so that she can continue to grow. Well, before I have to call off this weekend getaway trip, I'm gonna make one phone call. 
Hello, this is Renee. Hi, I'm Kate's mother and we just ran into a problem. Kate pulled out her feeding tube. Here's the deal though. We are hours away from home and I forgot the supplies we need to reinsert the tube at our house. Risky chocolate? Okay, thank you, bye-bye. They said it'd be extremely risky, but they said that we could just try, make sure that she eats very often, every hour, and something very high calorie. They were suggesting chocolate. That doesn't sound like a bad snack for mommy either, but we have to monitor this situation very closely. So in addition to eating every hour, we also have to weigh her along with that to make sure she continues to maintain or gain hopefully a little bit, but if she starts to lose just even a little bit, we'll have to head back home immediately and get her tube reinserted. <sighs> well, I guess it's gonna just be a hotel day for us today while we try to make sure she gets all the food she needs. Speaking of that, we should start now. Here you go, little Kate. Do you want some yummy chocolate? Do you all like chocolate? Like this video if you do. I sure do. And I'm kinda glad this was a snack that the doctor recommended for Kate as high calorie. I think I might have a little nibble too. Mm. But this really isn't for me. We've gotta make sure that Kate is eating. Good job, Kate. I think she really likes it. Oh dear, Clara, are you wanting some too? Here you go, we've got enough for everybody. Being prescribed chocolate is amazing, isn't it, Kate? Last bite. Do I have any on me? I might. That was a really good snack. But here's the serious part. You know what time it is now, Kate, don't you? We need to weigh her. Okay, we'll turn it on. You're being so brave, Kate. Let's see. She gained a little weight. Good job, girl. Even though this has been a little bit of a change of plans, I am so grateful that Kate didn't make a humongous mess when she pulled out her feeding tube, like she's done before. She kept her food down. Good job, Kate. There's always something to be grateful for, even on hard days. Well, and since I said it was going to be at the hotel room type of day today, I'm so glad that I brought some things for the girls to play with. You might have remembered that a couple weeks ago, we went out shopping for some different things for Kate to help her, you know, catch up developmentally. One of the places we went to was Target and bought a whole bunch of toys. So let's get some of these out and put it in her sensory box. She does get a little anxious when I'm putting these together and Clara does as well because they're just so much fun. So we could put in a little squishy ball for her to squish. Look at that, that's so squishy. Don't worry, Kate. Don't fuss. Your kid is almost done. We can do some crayons so that she can practice drawing. Put some of these things for her to play with. Got two more spots to fill up. Don't fuss, girls. Don't be sad. It's almost ready. Oh, she always likes these brightly colored animals. Okay, well, Kate, you can start playing with your sensory kit. Look at all the fun things. I really hope this keeps the twins distracted today while we just stick around the hotel and be Kate Chocolate. Claire is going fishing. Good job. Well, Kate, don't be sad. Here, you love your sensor kit. Here's some floors. Let's play with this. Oh, wow, that feels so nice. Oh, doesn't that feel so nice and cool and squishy? Isn't that not making you happy, Kate? Oh. Oh, how about this squishy thing? Feel how nice that is. This is so bizarre. She's just not happy with her sensory kit. I wonder if something else is wrong. No, like maybe. <gasps> oh no, Kate! Oh my goodness! Don't cry, baby. Oh goodness, it's so dirty. <gasps> I can't believe it. She lost all the calories she got from her feeding tube feeding. Oh no. What is that gonna do to her weight? Is that why you were crying and fussing, little girl? Oh, don't worry, honey. I'll clean this up. Are you okay, though? Don't cry. You're great. Oh, wow. I can't believe she kept her clothes pretty clean. We'll clean up this mess. While well, I try to think of, of what we should do. Oh my goodness, this is so messy. Oh my, such a big mess to clean up. See, kid, it's okay. We got that all cleaned off. Now we just need to go clean the toys. Here 
There we go. Good as new. Are you doing okay, Kate? She's actually surprisingly pretty happy after losing all those calories. But now is the real important thing. We've got to weigh her to see where she's at. I'm so nervous. Here you go, Kate. The moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see how much she weighs. <gasps> she's losing weight. This is not good at all. We're gonna have to go home immediately and get that tube in. We're calling off this vacation. Once we get home, I hope we can get that feeding tube in. Okay, so we've gotta pack up all these things. Can't forget my phone and her formula and her scale. Oh, I hope I can, I hope I can zip this closed. Yes, we got it. Whew, on our way home. You girls have just been the bravest through all of this. Yes, you have. They've been such an example to me. I want to be brave like they are. Okay, so I'm hoping we make it home before Kate loses any more weight. Let's go, girls. Hours later, we made it home. I can't believe it, but we can't waste any time. We've gotta get her tube in. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Gotta get this tube in. Here we go. Okay, Kate, I know this is so sad. Okay, honey, here we go. Gotta hold still, honey, hold still. Oops, missed it. Ugh, okay, gotta get this. Go, go, go. Good job, oh, don't cry, honey, don't cry. Don't cry, oh, don't cry either, Clara. There we go, we got it in, okay. Go, 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 go. Push it in, push it in, push it in. It's okay, honey. It's gonna be just a minute longer. It's probably going through her throat. Okay, down to her stomach. Okay, okay. Now we've got to tape it on. Almost got it, honey. Don't move. We don't want to have it fall out again until we secure it. Hold still. Don't cry, honey. It's okay. We're almost done. Oh, honey, don't cry anymore. It's all back in. You'll be just fine. Whew. Well, Kate's feeding tube problems have been going on for a little while. So if you would like to see more videos like this of poor Kate's feeding problems, I created this playlist just for you. 